It is time! I have tested many a kitchen gadget. I have cooked things, cleaned things, chopped things, crunched things, sauteed th I didn't saute anything. I've used a lot of kitchen gadgets, but for years, I couldn't test microwave kitchen gadgets because I didn't have a microwave. But now she does. So this entire video is dedicated to microwave uh, gadgets. Can you tell I'm excited? I'm also starving, because this is my dinner, and I keep putting off filming, which means I kept putting off dinner, and I don't like to not eat. I love eating, and I eat constantly. So, let's get started so I can eat some food. First up is a microwavable sandwich grill. It's supposed to be a panini press, but for the microwave. I tried to read the instructions on how to do it. It wasn't very clear, so I'm just gonna make a grilled cheese sandwich. That's really all I can do right now, and I'm hungry. It can only be up to 900 watts. How do you know the watt of your microwave? Power level? Power level 10? Well, I don't know what power level 10 is compared to watts. Well, just swing it. So this is for the microwave. That's all it says. Just says it's hot. 900 watts. Microwave. Great instructions, guys. I got some bread. I got garlic herb, vegan cheese. So this is going to be terrible, but I'm hungry. And so we're going the fastest route ever. But it says to cook a cheese sandwich, a panini for five minutes. That's how long a normal grilled cheese takes on like a skillet. So, okay, you know what we're gonna do? All of these are if all you have to cook is a microwave. So we're assuming that the only thing you got in your kitchen is a microwave. You don't got a stove, you don't got an oven, just a microwave. And that's how we're gonna go about this because sometimes that's all people have. And that's okay. As long as you know how to work with what you got, there ain't no shame in that. Again, they gave no instructions on if I'm supposed to butter it, oil it. They just said wattage and time. So we have two pieces of cheese in between two slices of bread. We're throwing that in there. Listen, if this thing can actually melt vegan cheese, they win an award. So that's just in there. Most pathetic sandwich in the world. So we're gonna cook it for a minute and then flip it. Cook it for another minute and then take a gander at what's going on. No idea what wattage we're on, so hey yo. Let's take a look. <gasps> it's hot. Hold on, it's hot. Wait a second. Mmm, I'm having mixed emotions already. The bread isn't like, it's kind of toasted, it's kind of getting hard, but it's not done yet. But the cheese is melted, which doesn't happen very often with vegan cheese. Yeah, that's melted. That's melted. The sandwich sucks. The bread's not toasted enough, but the cheese is melted. My issue with this is that it don't give you any instructions. Grease it first, butter it. They say different times, but like potatoes, four to seven minutes. And they said a panini sandwich, five to six minutes. I can't imagine putting this in for five to six minutes. What's in the panini sandwich? Like. The rules vary greatly, and I'm very confused by it. Listen, I'm sure if you wanted to put in the effort, you would figure that out. It's your only source of making a grilled cheese. You can get it to work. But as someone who can make a grilled cheese on a stove top, I'm gonna keep choosing the stove top method. To the next product. This is it. What is it, you may ask? It's a sack. What do you put in the sack? A potato. Woo! We're making baked potatoes in the microwave. I know there's a way to do this, like you wrap it in like a wet paper towel or something. I'm making that up. There's a way to make a baked potato in the microwave anyway, but this way is more professional. You feel me? You get me? You hear me? So what you do is you place one to four washed potatoes in the potato espresso and then close the flap. I love a sack with a flap. All right, so I'm gonna, that is a squishy potato. Instacart person does not know how to pick out a potato. Oh, we'll make do with what we got. So we put this in, close the flap, cook in the microwave for four minutes. I love an exact time. And then carefully remove it and enjoy. Mm. She loves a baked potato, so she's excited about this. Four minutes. They didn't say anything about wattage. They didn't say anything about flipping it. It's just a good old fashioned. Put it in for four minutes. Yeah, I'm still eating my grilled cheese. I'm hungry, shut up. Two minutes in and it's making sizzling noises. Don't know if that's normal. What? Yeah, we'll see. She is done. To get this potato out, because apparently it's hot. Caution, we're gonna use another gadget, which are these silicone things you're supposed to use for multiple different purposes. So apparently you're supposed to use it for anything hot. There's multiple purposes, which is cute. But one of them is to help you get hot things out of the microwave. So let's try it. It's not hot. <laughs> I was just joking. Potato! Is it hot? It's wet. Do you see the color just, just some word to show that the color is different from here to here? It's because down here is wet. Here is the potato. Let's cut it open and see if the inside's hot. 
and oh oh she is not done in the slightest hold up <laughs> good enough for to show you ah right, come on i want to eat a baked potato warm but i can't stab it the fork doesn't go in oh it's it's good on the outside a little bit Well, that didn't work. Can I put it back in? Is that allowed? It says I'm not allowed to go for more than four minutes. And one of the things it says, do not heat in microwave for more than four minutes at a time. What constitutes a new time? Is right now a new time? Or is this still in the same setting? Oh, oh. I thought microwaving stuff was supposed to be easier than cooking. How is it that I know how to do these things normal cooking wise? I can't figure them out microwave wise. Oh my God, I'm becoming an adult. Okay, it says I can do, if needed, cook for one additional minute. I'm gonna put it in, even though I've already just sliced it open. We're just gonna stick it back in. We're gonna go one more minute. Let's hope this doesn't explode. There's a lot of like, it could catch on fire things. <laughs> Gotta say, I like the silicone thing. She's sleeping. Get your booty out there. Now let's see how it is. I'm just gonna put some butter on it and try and eat it. I was gonna do like the whole baked potato thing, put some cheese, some ranch, butter, but because it's a butthead, all it's gonna get is some butter just so I can say I tried it. Maybe it's not supposed to be this big of a potato, but they did not give me size specifications. They just said you could put one to four potatoes in there. If this thing can handle four potatoes, it should be able to handle my one big potato. That's just my personal opinion, which I believe is truth. It's hot, I can see that it's steaming, but that doesn't mean it's done. I'm not gonna burn my freaking mouth on a crappy potato. Nope, oh, I could at least salt and pepper it. Come on, Ballinger. Yeah, pepper. This is the only salt we have is pink Himalayan salt. Apparently we're fancy now. All right, it's not done. Like, it's still crunchy. That crisp feeling, ha <sighs> ha, oh. No, nope. Potato Express, you have failed. Man, why are the microwaves things sucking? All right, this last one better not suck. We've got several things, but it's to make one meal. Well, we're gonna make pasta. Are you making pasta in a microwave? By using an As Seen on TV product, of course. Oh, that's right. We are gonna try the pasta boat. I'm so excited for this. And then to heat the sauce, we have a food cover thing and we will be using the silicone thing. So the last three products will all be used to make me feel spaghetti. Oh my God, this is huge. You don't have room in your kitchen for anything but a microwave? Don't worry. Also make room for the boat. Ginormous. All right, I'm gonna read the instructions. Hold on. This is to say thanks and give you a smile. Get 100% free Amazon products by joining Amazon Rebate Club. Enter here. It seems like a scam. Okay, the first step was to wash it with soapy warm water, which I did. Now, these instructions are actually very crisp and clear, which I very much appreciate. <coughs> bad grilled cheese and baked potato. So with these handles, you measure how much pasta you're cooking. And then with that, you fill it up to a line based on how many portions it is. Pretty freaking smart. <laughs> Let's see, is this one handle? Okay, that's one handle, which is two portions, which is what I'm gonna do. So one full red measuring handle equals two servings, which equals water level to number two. Mm. All right, so I put the pasta in. Oh, it fits perfectly. And then I fill this with water up to the two line because it's two portions. Beautiful. Okay, so I'm no lid goes on this. It goes straight into the microwave like this. Oh, you're over here now. I moved the camera and I forgot that I did. So this goes in the microwave as such. Oh, and then how long do I cook it for? Okay, thin. I think this is thin. Is this thin? Is this thin or normal? Oh my God. Okay, we're gonna go two servings, 15, 14 and a half minutes. That is a long time. I thought microwave was supposed to be like zip, zap, zoop. It's been crap, crap forever. That was the longest 14 minutes of my entire life. If this doesn't turn out well, it'll turn out at some. If it doesn't turn out well, I quit. I just quit YouTube. All right, it says to hold it by both handles. Be careful. Whoop, did you do? Man, those little noodles look thick. Now I'm supposed to put on the strainer. It says be careful putting on your strainer. We have to be careful. Just fit. I don't have time for this. Fit on. All the way on? Yes. Okay, cute. We're all the way on. Now why aren't you going all the way on? I don't have time for this. All right, I'm hungry. Now before we strain this, we're gonna let it sit for a second. We're gonna put some pasta in a bowl. Sauce, we're gonna put sauce in a bowl. This can be used as a can opener. 
think the only thing I'm truly loving right now is these silicone things. All right, that was a lot, but we don't want it to splatter everywhere. I love when things pop. Oh, I love when they pop. Come on, don't take up space when you put them away, but they're the size you need when you need them. Ah, love that. Okay, just do like 30 seconds. I don't know. Okay, let's strain this. Both hands. Okay, this is working. Hush, I'm busy. I, I didn't mean it. Don't get mad at me. <laughs> what just popped? I made a noise. These silicone things are cool. I actually really like these. Not hot in there. No, no, no. Hot in my Let's take a look at this pasta. Take the lid off. Okay, so first con, the lid is super annoying. It like doesn't want to stay on the thing. Here's the pasta. I don't quite know why it's so thick, but what else? We're gonna try it without the sauce. Now she's done. She could have made me gone for a little bit longer. That's the annoying thing, is you can't test like if it's done or not. But for the most part, she's done. Okay, this thing is nice. I like this, because it collapses if you need to put it away. It fits nicely over it, it's wide, it's not too tall. I'm gonna say this thing is good. I like this, and I like these silicone things. Is look, I don't have to worry about the bowl being hot. This is lovely. Oh, got an eyeball itch, but I'm wearing makeup. I hate makeup, all right. <sighs> Let's try my pasta as a whole. La, 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 la. We did it! Took three different meals. The third one is decent. Uh. All right, so what did we have? The panini maker. I hated that. That was stupid. The potato maker. It didn't make me a potato. It made me sad. These silicone things I actually think are super cool. I really like these a lot. They have multiple uses. I think they're just handy to have in the kitchen for whatever. Again, you can use them as like to put your pot on when it's hot, cover stuff up, put it in the microwave, use it as a placemat. Oh, that is a cute placemat, isn't it? If you're going for a funky vibe, I'm for that. Use it to grab the handle of a hot pot. You know how like you use a spatula and then you're like, oh, I gotta put this somewhere in between the cooking. Put it on this because it's super cleanable. Microwave safe, opens bottles. Guys, I think this is my favorite. And then I think we all have one of these. This one's nice. I like that it collapses so you can make it different heights. It breathes. And the pasta maker, it took a long time. 14 minutes? Like again, I think that the three food makers are if all you have is a microwave. But if you have a stove top or an oven, I highly suggest cooking the food that way because if I could do those things normally, then you can do those things normally. I just heard something at my front door. Is it a dog? Hold on. It was a dog, but it was across the street. I just have really good hearing when it comes to dogs. <laughs> okay. All right. I think that's all the microwave gadgets I could try. Because I have tried the angry lady microwave cleaner like five, four, five years ago. I didn't like her. She just made everything smell like vinegar. But yeah, I think that's all the microwave stuff. We did it. Oh. Well, then that's the end. I hope you found this entertaining. I was hoping to get better food out of it, and I didn't. So now I'm sad. But subscribe to see videos every Tuesday. Tuesday and Thursday on this channel. Like this video if you liked it. Make sure you're checking out my vlog channel where I try and post three times a week. Also check out my podcast channel where I post every single Monday. It's a podcast with my mom called All Things Internet. I just completed my standing goal for the day. Hey. Yeah, but that's it. I love you guys a lot. Please always tweet me or tag me in products you'd like me to try or use. And that's it. All right. Now I gotta clean. I'm exhausted.